సో సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద స్ట్రాటజీ ఫర్ ప్రిపేరింగ్ బడ్జెట్ సమ్మరీ ఎకనామిక్ సమ్మరీ యా సో బడ్జెట్ అండ్ ఎకనామిక్ సర్వే బోత్ ఆర్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ యూ విత్ వెరీ ఆథెంటిక్ డేటా దట్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ as well as the certain schemes that are announced in the budget that you can use in your answers so what i would advise is first of all listen to the uh, speeches by the finance minister when she is presenting the budget in the parliament please do listen to that speech because the coaching institutes will definitely provide you with uh, a, a detailed summary of uh, what is important what is not but i think listening to that speech is very important because there are certain nitty gritties which which the minister speaks in the in the parliament and even during the presentation of the economic survey this uh, the chief economic advisor uh, presents the entire ppt there so please listen to that speech also so that you will get to get a brief idea of of what things are then of course you can rely on any of the you can either read the budget speech yourself and make notes of that budget which is not very uh, long it's very short the economic survey there are multiple coachings which actually uh, chapter by chapter they take the summary and uh, they take the lectures also uh, for this uh, for the economic survey so economic survey reading is definitely important i would advise you to take any of the uh, either from the coaching itself or any youtube videos refer and make sure that you have read you have read the economic survey the summary is uh, uh, sufficient i i don't think you should need to read need to read cover to cover economic survey because most of these uh, things are very uh, research based and that those are not required for the exam what is required for the exam is the data that is present in the economic survey as well as the 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 outcomes or the, any of the especially the boxes in the economic survey which comes those are very important because that gives you good fodder material for your exam and for the essay and uh, that you can use it and for the budget also just make sure you have a summary with you and read it and try to revise the basic points that are available no no you have to volume 1 is basically it provides you newer insights volume 2 is just the data of uh, let's say manufacturing sector uh, service sector things like that agriculture sector so for for gs3 i think it is very important the volume 2 is very important for gs3 part of it because you get a lot of data and lot of schemes and how these those schemes have progressed so i think uh, both the volumes uh, i think you should read both